What happens when a supposed police captain claiming to be the law gets caught swerving down the streets in a mysterious unmarked SUV? Captain James French, a cop in Oklahoma, faces a wild night during a traffic stop. What unfollowed is a series of events that will keep you hooked to your screens. Take a look. March 12, 2023. In the early dark hours, two vigilant duty officers from the Oklahoma Police Department spotted a black Chevrolet Traverse along S. May Avenue, speeding and swerving. Now, that might sound like your typical drunk driving scenario, but hold on, this SUV isn't your ordinary police vehicle. It's unmarked and seems to belong to the city, stolen or not. This sets the stage for one of the most intriguing Sunday mornings in an officer's career. The driver, who insists he's the captain, tries to play it cool by slipping into a private driveway. Why? Well, he might be thinking he can dodge the consequences if he reaches his home. As he keeps muttering, I'm the captain. Drunk? No, I'm the captain. Huh? The captain. A what? Captain. It hints that he may have a history of wriggling out of similar situations. The officers question his sobriety, and all he can say is, I'm a captain. I'm with the police department, Oklahoma. What unfolds next is a bizarre encounter where whispers of rank, questionable motives, and a history of possibly bending the rules come to light. How much has this captain really had to drink? And what's the deal with his unmarked city SUV? Captain James French, in a desperate attempt, keeps insisting, turn the camera off, sir. Just keep sir, going. Can, can turn off. I cannot, sir. But the officer stands firm, refusing to shut it down. Now, here's where it gets intriguing. This supposed captain is not just any law enforcer. He's well-versed in DUI law, refusing to play by the officer's questioning rules. Instead, he throws a curveball asking, how much did you drink tonight, sir? The captain, caught swerving and lacking proper signals, tries to downplay his actions, blaming it on a poker game. As the officer pushes for details, asking about the captain's drinking habits, the response is vague. Not much, he says. How much is not much? The captain dances around, mentioning beers and liquor, but the specifics remain elusive. The officer persists, uncovering that the captain downed three or four beers at a poker game, but the timeline is hazy. When was the last beer consumed? The captain, somewhat disoriented, responds with the time, leading to an awkward realization that maybe driving isn't the best idea. In Oklahoma, DUI cases are taken seriously, and the state has established specific laws and procedures to address them. The legal limit for blood alcohol concentration is 0.08% for adults and 0.02% for drivers under the age of 21. The conversation takes another turn as the officer questions the captain's fitness to drive. The captain hesitates, admitting it's not a good idea, but then drops a bombshell. I live here. Now we're at the back of the captain's Chevy, and things are taking a different turn. The officer, being thorough, asks if there are any weapons on the captain. The captain denies it and agrees to a quick pat-down. As the officer proceeds, the captain reassures, I promise you, I don't have a problem. There's a request to shut the car door, and the scene shifts to an unexpected twist. The officer inquires about the captain's investigative division. The captain drops names, mentioning Lieutenant Britton and expressing approval for him. The officer, though, isn't swayed and instructs the captain to stay put. Sobriety tests, or field sobriety tests, are exercises conducted by law enforcement during a traffic stop to assess potential impairment from alcohol or drugs. Common tests include horizontal gaze nystagmus or eye movement observation, walk and turn or walking in a straight line, one leg stand, which includes balancing on one leg and finger to nose, touching the nose with closed eyes. These tests aim to evaluate coordination, balance, and cognitive abilities. Results are subjective and may be influenced by factors other than impairment. If a person fails these tests, officers may proceed to chemical tests like breathalyzers for more accurate assessment. Refusal to take tests may have legal consequences due to implied consent laws. In this case, the police took an unusual turn, a deviation from the standard field sobriety tests. The officer skips the usual process a move that suggests this isn't your typical drunk driver scenario. The captain is asked to stand with feet together, hands down, and gaze straight ahead. As the officer initiates the sobriety test, Captain French attempts to halt the process, pleading, I cannot, sir, please. The officer calmly reminds him of the body cam policy, citing Oklahoma House Bill 2640 from 2006. This legislation mandates continuous recording during an officer's duty. It's a pivotal detail that prevents the captain from demanding a halt to the recording. 
potentially to preserve his dignity or station. The officer stands firm in upholding the protocol. What's the captain's next move, and how will this unusual encounter play out? The tension rises as the officer insists on conducting sobriety tests, but Captain French attempts to negotiate a deal. I can turn it off once I'm done with my investigations. The officer, resolute in upholding the law impartially, emphasizes that he treats everyone equally, regardless of their status, be it a gang member or the President of the United States. The officer refuses to show favoritism and emphasizes the importance of justice being blind. Captain French seems to realize he won't receive any special treatment. The officer stands firm, making it clear that differentiating treatment based on status would compromise his integrity. The captain concedes, agreeing to do whatever the officer asks. However, as the sobriety test begins, Captain French pleads repeatedly, please, I can't do that. Faced with continuous interruptions, the officer decides to switch tactics and suggests a different test. The officer introduces the walk and turn test, asking Captain French to stand with his left foot in front of his right, heel to toe. The officer instructs Captain French to stand with his left foot in front of the right, hands down, and attempts to explain the walk and turn sobriety test. As the officer demonstrates, Captain French seems unsure but agrees to try. However, when it's his turn, Captain French stumbles through the steps and the officer decides to put an end to the test. Realizing the severity of the situation, the officer informs Captain French that he's under arrest. The captain's attempt to avoid scrutiny has come to an end. This situation shows how law enforcement is changing, with some parts being informative and even a bit funny. The use of mandatory body cameras is a big part of this shift in how police work. Captain French's behavior appears rooted in a mindset of privilege and an era where rules didn't always apply to those in positions of authority. The incident reveals a clash between the old guard mentality and a more transparent, unbiased legal process facilitated by the presence of body cameras. As the officer prepares to turn off the camera upon arrest, Captain French's request to speak further is met with a firm refusal. Chief Wade Gurley of the Oklahoma City Police Department publicly acknowledges the professionalism of the officers involved, stating that they handled the situation appropriately. However, the outcome remains uncertain, given Captain French's long tenure and the existing legal processes. Chief Gourley revealed that Captain French was put on paid administrative leave immediately after the incident was reported. He clarified that an administrative investigation, distinct from the criminal inquiry, will take place. Chief Gourley explained that if criminal charges are filed, a predetermination hearing, as per their policy contract, would lead to placing the person on unpaid leave following a specific process. The police chief refrained from speculating openly on why Captain French repeatedly asked to turn off the camera, but mentioned that officers are allowed to do so once an incident concludes. Contrary to this, the video indicates the camera remained on until Captain French was handcuffed. Notably, Captain French, with 32 years of service, has a long history with the Oklahoma City Police Department. Chief Gourley stated that while he could only make assumptions about why Captain French wanted the camera off, the officer correctly kept it on. In the legal process, a DUI arrest in Oklahoma typically results in two separate cases an administrative case dealing with the person's driving privileges, and a criminal case involving the court system. Penalties for DUI convictions may include fines, license suspension, mandatory attendance at an alcohol education or treatment program, and, in some cases, imprisonment. Chief Gourley confirmed that Captain French was promptly put on paid administrative leave upon notification of the incident. He outlined a process in accordance with the FOP contract involving a predetermination hearing when criminal charges are filed. This procedure allows for placing the person on leave without pay, but it requires going through a specific process due to the criminal nature of the matter. That concludes today's video. If you enjoyed our content, please show some love by leaving your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on our latest content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.